Welcome. This is Symphony, and this is Serpent Stair. If you caught, and if you enjoyed, the badass boss theme special that I did for episode 20, you're likely to enjoy this album special as well. I have five of my favorite tracks here from the album from OC Remix, Badass Boss Themes Volume 2. Yes, there's a second one. The first one that I have to share with you today is Tough It Out by Demons and Train Beat from Kirby64. Now, I'm gonna take a bit of a step back from Fortissimo because I was having blood pressure problems the last time I played this game, and I would rather not repeat that. Let's start off a little bit gentler. Fantastic timing. It's badass boss themes, but we don't have to be the most badass. Not just now. It's okay. I need to get my sea legs again. And that can take some time. Early recapitulation certainly kind of contributed to demonstrating that. However, in Mere Forte, I can slice through these enemies like butter. It's kind of easy by comparison. What a lovely relief, although there's still quite a lot of dodging going on. I have, however, adjusted the settings that I'm playing this game on. Not the in-game settings, I give it a higher priority. And hopefully that should help me in getting smooth performance rather than those momentary lag spikes that I was complaining of about before that interfere with my ability to control the game. As I said then, I never thought it was something to do with the game because I have had smooth performance from it. It's just a matter of what my computer can handle. <sighs> Breathe, relax, enjoy the lovely, intense racing music as I get destroyed again. Now imagine I was doing this in Fortissimo. I've been listening to the soundtracks of Two Who Six recently. I've never played any of the Two Who games. And I suspect they'd be even harder than this, so I'm not sure I'd want to. Good music, though. Oh, I don't have my, my uh, agenda right now. I don't have my Fortissimo right now either, that's a difficulty setting. Fuck you, Red Wall! Fuck me right back, apparently. <sighs> Maybe I'll venture back into Fortissimo for the next track, alright? This one was hard enough already. Have I played this track in this game before? Well... Let's just say this is a second take and move on. Oh, I was getting carried away there. Alright. 45 seconds left. Let's do this. Can I make it? 13,000 more points. I definitely need to avoid losing anymore. Get 
those combos if I can, but if I can't, that's fine. I don't think so. Well, a noble effort. I think I hit the first target. We discovered a scattershot cannon. Took four deaths. Took down 70% of the enemies. Hit that target. Not the second one, though. Let's continue on to Ganonize, which naturally is a Legend of Zelda mix. And it's a long one. Take a look at that percentage as it crawls upward. So, we're in for a marathon. And against... oh my goodness. Look at that. Target, a hundred thousand. Long song. Reward, six hundred thousand. Six times that. Let's make a note of that. Probably gonna be intense. But if it's not all that much, then we can use this as a benchmark for later songs. Early power up will help. Some lovely little dungeon riffs there. Got that bonus, despite not actually seeing it appear before I run into it. Oh, invincibility! I will most certainly take that. I have been developing a collection of themed songs, and I believe I added this to my haunted theme list? Because this sounds very haunting to me. This track would make a lovely backdrop to some uh, interesting ghost-oriented stuff happening. Alright. Can I recover from this without being recapitulated? Maybe. Just about. Yes, I can! Not gonna stop me from being recapitulated, but I can, in theory. In order to get those Tetrises away from the bottom of the screen, I need to move up here. Which is very difficult when I've got that shit going on up there. Invincibility. Alright, there we go. Back on track, back on track, back on track. Controlling the board. Oh, hey, I'm invincible. Let's do some, uh, dash around board clear then. With this very cool, smooth... Alright, the, the intensity thing, maybe I was wrong about that, and it just has to do with how many enemies there are, which isn't always a function of intensity. As much as you might think it would be. I was so close to destroying that, I know I was. I'd much, much rather not this be the point where that thing that I said about this not being an intense track would prove entirely not wrong. Do we need to do this? It still isn't moving as fast as the last one was. I have nothing to say. I am breathless with tension. I 
and maybe blood pressure. Maybe some frustration. Hey, electric ship, give back my music. Oh, demon! My friend, to build my fear of the unknown, guide your actions. Will this great composer be? Uh, sorry, bro, no. You are technically an unknown entity, but, uh, your intentions have been pretty straightforward this far. That is straightforwardly hostile. On the other hand, you know, this boss fight, it's gonna ensure that I get all that kudos. It's, it's gonna get me my targets. This thing has a much larger hitbox than it looks like it ought to. Hmm. There we go. <sighs> Delightfully tense track as well. Like, even if I wasn't playing this game, maybe? Although, the fact that I am certainly influences it. This, this track just speaks of anxiety, doesn't it? Screw you, Square. Screw you, Two Tower. a little shifted into in um, instrumentation. If someone were to defend this game, they'd tell me that this was because I hadn't learned it properly, no doubt, and maybe I haven't, but difficult? I can handle difficult. I've played as the Lost and Binding of Isaac to great effect. I finished Ballpoint Universe. That game wasn't exactly easy. This just feels arbitrary. The moment is upon us. Again, my friend, let the Symphony of Souls fulfill its purpose. And I offer you to become a god. You are no friend of mine, and I don't believe you. I have no reason to believe you. Energy cannon. <sighs> Ten deaths. 30,000 points off there. Nevertheless, 150,000 inspiration collected. I'm gonna take a moment, just a moment aside, switch my filter, check out my owned items, upgrade something. We've got a subwoofer, energy cannon. I wanted to upgrade the energy cannon, that's fairly new, I haven't used it. I wanted to give that a try. I'm already using a Mega Blaster. Invincibility is as high as it can go. So is the Overture. Yeah, there's the Mega Blaster. Rocket Pack? Uh, sure, let's play with the Rocket Pack. My rich successes enable me to afford much expansion. However, it doesn't offer me the extra 10,000 inspiration I need for that. So let's return. Sonic the Hedgehog. 
Always a classic. Lots of mixes that go back to some Sonic the Hedgehog game or another. And before I head into the fray, also about six times the inspiration needed there, I'm gonna shift my kit. I really, really wish that this rotation gave me more refined options than this. Well, let's give this a try. I'm extremely hesitant about this. I, I have no confidence whatsoever that this will be a good layout. But let's give it a try anyway. I need your inspiration. I need to rebuild my ship. Admittedly, what is good depends on what situation you're in. And this isn't doing too badly so far. Awkward as fuck angling because I didn't want it to just be firing forward so that I could focus fire a little bit more on my left side. And that seems to be working, however... The firing rate of this energy cannon does seem significantly slower. Perhaps it packs a hard punch with each of those shots, though. Okay, I have nothing but patience at this point with which to deal with these buddies who come in from behind me. I've given that up, now I have to go the patient route. Mind you, I'm having a much better time destroying them once they get there to the top of the screen. And focus firing in on things like that red tower. Perhaps Fortissimo is just somewhat beyond my skill level. Hmm? Maybe this was not designed for me. Extreme distortion. I think the story this time is I collected a fair amount of inspiration, just didn't retain any of it. Yeah, I beat up 55% of the baddies there. 8,000 inspiration to show for it. Flex style challenges us to top this with a Dr. Wily theme. I will endeavor to do so. I genuinely feel a little bit nauseous right now, guys. Let's bring that double cannon back. Straighten out the Mega Blaster. This... Maybe tilt the Energy Cannon? Because then that's kind of in line with the double cannon. 
Maybe that'll be better. Calvary House. Dr. House Wiley, I guess. I always feel kind of naked when I can't attack things behind me at all. Uh, nothing else. Head bobbin too. Alright, I've got more forward power now. I think I like this. I think I like this. I could also be getting lucky with the song and the wave generation, but I think I like this. Is this a better loadout for me? Does it mean something that I haven't been recapitulated yet? Those, those points can drain super fast as soon as you get into a death spiral. Invincibility. Need that. Gotta have it. Must have grabs for this summer. Invincibility power-ups. It also seems like things are moving a little bit more slowly now, so... Either my perception has shifted, or this is a slightly easier song regardless. Very glad I was out of the range of all of those uh, explosion circles. Uh... And yet the music is sufficiently awesome that I'm feeling okay. Invincibility saving my ass on multiple occasions this song. That score compared to that target. Ouch. Also, this may be the first remix that I've heard from OC Remix that uses an air horn as an instrument. To good effect, no less. Six hundred and six thousand kudos. Despite that, only hitting the first target. I have had such mixed results. <laughs> One star, four stars, three stars. <laughs> One last song. Let's visit Mr. Freeman. Remix of the Combine theme from Half-Life. I think that was Half-Life 2. I think I remember this one being like a trippy dream sequence sort of track. Definitely reminded me a bit of System Shock 2. Oh, 
Also wondering whether the title is meant to call out some similarities to The Matrix. You know, the whole Mr. Anderson thing. I wouldn't know. Half-Life is one of the many game series that this game reminds me I have not actually played. Although I did see some tech demos for it attached to the disc that I used to have of Diablo 2 I think. Or maybe the original Diablo. Or Warcraft, I don't remember, something. Could even have been Duke Nukem 3D for as much as I remember. Yes, I played Duke Nukem 3D. Gave me nightmares. Lots of creepy stuff there. In particular, not a fan of the um, fetuses in Pickle Jacks. on these Tetris things and draw them forward so that I can get behind them. Because I have no hope if I can't earn one of those crescendos from down here on the screen where I'm actually able to target them with it. It means I need my crescendo to be active. Well, or that I suppose, that works too. That was a delightful explosion of colors. Of course. It was high time that I suffer another recapitulation. Who can possibly dispute that? I continue to become more and more convinced as well, uh, not that this happened recently, but I noticed it in one of the most recent times that I got invincibility, and was damaged when I originally picked it up. When you are invincible and you run into ships, they either don't drop inspiration, or some quirk of the system prohibits you from healing off of it. It's like, oh no, we said that they can't damage you. That doesn't mean that you get any points for just running into them. It destroys the ships, but no. Last minute points, scatter shot, furia, you say. Color me interested. Huh. All right. Last time it was seven songs, this time it was only five. And nevertheless, a bit of a longer episode of Symphony to celebrate Badass Boss Themes Volume 2. I hope you had fun. Continue to follow this playlist if you did. For further highlights of various music that I particularly enjoy, 